Hello everyone in the chess world. So yeah, I'm gonna make today a little survey on this particular line on, on the Trompovsky. And I gotta say, this was, uh, well, what I'm talking about is, um, you know, all know that the Trump is, you know, d4, knight f6 and bishop jump on g5. And really normal answer is this knight on e4, after which, uh, well, bishop on e4 was always the main line, then now c5, stuff like that. But the line that I want to show you is h4, which is, well, nowadays, this is known, but, you know, in the years, 2000, in the 2000s, it was kind of like a pretty moral line. And, well, the idea is quite simple, you know, a lot of us will immediately play knight takes on g5, which is, of course, a possible move, and after h takes g5, well, why will black play this immediately? Well, why not taking the pair of bishops, you know, out of white's uh, possibilities on the fourth move? And at the same time, white gains this modern character, I mean, the h-file for the rook, and this extra g-pawn, sometimes, you know, we try to hit on the light squares. For example, one, if, if we were to think about, you know, cheapos in a way, well, one plan will be to play e3, bishop on d3, and then g6. Let, let me just make random moves to prove this point, you know, let us say that, you know, I, I'm gonna just do this on purpose, you know, just go back, bishop on d3, whatever, b6, well, we can throw g6, because you can never take with this pawn, because of the strength, of the, and, so, and after a pawn takes, you know, we always have this. Okay, this is like the, the cheapo idea behind this, but of course, you know, in more, in more specific terms, yeah, the h file, file and the extra g pawn. Now, it's funny, a lot of the, these uh, openings that I like and I actually played, I, I've taken them from the, um, the book of, um, of Watson, you know, John Watson. This is uh, Secrets on, on Modern Strategy in Chess. That There are uh, two books like that. That was from the years in, in the 90s and the 2000s. So I, I always really like these this modern characters in openings. For example, I remember seeing in, in that same book of office, I was seeing this uh, Rosolimo that I knew, and there was this knight on a5, super modern, just, you know, Modern in two ways. One is, well, we got a knight on, on, on the rim is dim. But the idea is, okay, if white wanted to blow up my knight, I'm just not going to allow that. And my idea is to continue with a6, winning a tempo. So I'll kick away the bishop and then go in b5. I always love this modern characters in, in, in these openings. And yeah, this uh, John Watson with this book has really influenced uh, my, my opening. So, and my opening knowledge. So, but let us go back to this trump. So, one of the things that I wanted to show you is, well, there are a lot of miniatures, uh, a quick victories for, for white in this line. And, well, I'll, I'll give you just a, a general, you know, survey on this because there are a lot of options for, for, for black for both sides. So, okay, first of all, definitely white is not, uh, black is not forced to play this knight on e4. This is just normal Tromposki, so... If you like, you know, the, the idea of this position, well, of course, you're going to have to prepare against something that it is a knight on e4. And, you know, uh, d5 and c5 now will be, well, moves that you will see a lot. So, I mean, in case of c5, normally we do advance this pawn and we can play sometimes some sort of, yeah, Benoni with the bishop on g5. But... Um, I remember one of the things that I learned that it wasn't so easy, but so obvious for me is that after queen on b6, this is a typical uh, move for black in any Trompovsky, well, we can just go back with the bishop. And the idea is that, yeah, of course, we lost two tempos with white, but the queen is definitely worse on b6 than on d8. The queen on b6 probably is going to give us um, the opportunity to win some tempos, to attack her. So this is interesting. And for example, you know, uh, d6, uh, knight c3, this is normal, you know, now it's normal uh, modern Benoni development, g6, e4, bishop on g7, knight f3 castles. Well, a4 is definitely a, an interesting move. So one of the ideas will be to win a tempo with a5, as we said, you know, this queen is more exposed. And queen b4 is a good move, taking advantage of the fact that white no longer has a3 and, well, definitely pin in the knight, so therefore, you know, attacking this twice and also threatening this. Uh, but knight on d2 is actually the move just to protect the, the, the e pawn. And after the most natural Benoni-like move, knight bd7, well, a5 now, uh, again, we're always trying to win tempos because yes, we're not hitting the queen anymore, but hey, the idea is rook on a4. 
And so you got to watch out even not to lose your queen. So interesting stuff, you know. Of course, as I said, instead of knight on e4 and h4, this is the main line that I, w I want to check. Or c5, there is also the natural d5. This is really normal. And, and okay, I'm just going to show you one of the miniatures. This was Kasparov against, I don't know, someone in a simultaneous. So, yeah, black is going to play really awful. But it was interesting because... First of all, knight on d2. Uh, you will see that in a lot of lines, for example, this, this is another thing that I, that I wanted to point out. After knight on e4 and h4, let us say that black doesn't play knight takes on e5. You know, like on g5, I mean. Let us say that they play, I don't know, d5. Well, knight d2 is al almost always the, the line for white. So white is always trying to force black to decide what to do with that knight on e4. So it is a, an interesting detail for you to have in mind. So as I said, you know, after d5, knight on d2. So now, if any knight on e4, we can take it. And in this game, follow e6, e3, bishop on d6, Gary playing knight gf3. And I like this. After knight bd7, this is such a pass, since this is such a passive move and there is no bishop on e7, you know, breaking the pin, well, Gary was like, all right, e4, you know, even admitting the loss of a tempo. And this is probably the best move. Um, okay, here, I mean, probably black should have play d takes e4 knight takes and maybe h6 but okay uh, gary's opponent played on h played h6 and look at this is really ugly because after bishop on a uh, bishop takes of course you know can, cannot recapture with the knight or the queen because of e5 and the forchet so after g takes f well just e takes on d5 and okay i mean of course here the only move was e takes e5 i don't need to i need to explain no more look at the pawn chain. This is one of the ugliest pawn chains I've ever seen. You know, so I don't even. Care. I think computer was just giving a really slight advantage for white. To me, this is strategically winning. You know, what what will you do with those pawns? But okay, probably Gary's opponent saw that same thing in the simul. Played this ridiculous c5, and Gary was winning after pawn takes, pawn takes, bishop on d3. Okay, now the problem, of course, is Black's king. And after rook g8 and knight on h4, you know, with the idea of queen on h5, I think that the game just lasted a few more moves. So let's go back and now focus on, yeah, the main thing that I wanted to show you, which is knight on e4 and h4 instead of the most normal Trompovsky uh, move, bishop on f4. So, um, well, one of the, 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 the games that I saw that was really interesting for me was uh, Kosic versus Markovic, and, and it, it's funny, it is, again, you know, I see that this uh, modern character in openings is something shared by a, a lot of us. I, you know, Markovic is, is a grandmaster that I've studied for in, in a lot of different openings that have nothing to do one with, with one another, but still they were attractive for me, they were attractive for, for him, you know, I've shown for example in the the Bricker Karokan, Markovic is, is the most important and strong, strongest player uh, playing that opening, well, I, I was like, well, we, we meet again, Grandmaster Markovic, because he had this lovely uh, miniature um, is against yeah, this guy Kosic which play c6. I think c6 was a novelty in, 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 in those times. This must be a game from early 2000s. And let us see what, what happened, because again, knight on d2, you know, as I said before, normally if black doesn't immediately take the bishop on g5, it's really normal to continue with knight on d2. Now, we transpose into, well, yeah, yeah taking on g5. And look at this, queen b6, e3 just giving uh, sort of like a poison pawn but what i really like about this is the idea that i show you about this cheapo with knight after knight takes g5 and h takes g5 after queen takes b2 g6 immediately and because he, he, the thing is after f takes g6 this this is the game continuation well now bishop d3 so instead of waiting to be all prepared to throw g6 he just did it and then play bishop on d3. And I mean, there's no way to prevent bishop takes on g6 check. Or let us say, I don't know, if, if you go away, you play, I don't know, rook g8, rook takes h7, you know. So it's, 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 it's really funny, right? I mean, or if you play g5 now with black, well, I, again, I can take immediately on h7. So quite curious. You cannot defend g6 and h7 at the same time. So 
game continue d5, bishop takes g6 jack and king on d8. If he, again, this is the type of position that, that if you show to a, you know, to a computer, they might not give a decisive advantage for white. But any of us will feel you know, like we're winning in such position. So I'll show you the, the rest of the game because it was a miniature. Knight g3, bishop g4 and rook b1, queen c3 and Markovic took on b7, knight d7, queen b1. It's a nice uh, move by, by Markovic. And I think decisive mistake, I mean, black already looks awful, but taking on a three, I think, was really wrong. I mean, I understand they wanted to... Well, first of all, we cannot recapture with the knight because it's spin. The thing is, after g takes on a three, e5 was black stride. I mean, the king is awful, development is awful, this is over. But, um, well, Markovic even, um, well, had the luxury of immediately making this uh, sacrifice, which rook takes, king takes, and queen checks. And after king on e6, I mean, there are a thousand winning moves here. I think bishop on f7 check is also winning, but rook h5 is much more convincing. And black was like, all right, dude, okay, all right, take my, my rook. And Marco was, no, what do you mean? Rook, two, six, take, rook takes on e5 check. And after king on f6, Queen on d7, very precise move with, of course, the idea of queen on e6 mate. And here, uh, Kosic resigned. Well, of course, black played an, uh, an awful game. Again, I'm showing you a lot of games in which black played awfully. But um, if, I don't know. If it's, 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 this war, actually, this guy Kosic was, wasn't a patser, you know. So it, it's possible and uh, to get confused, you know, in this, this sort of lines. So let us go back and after h4... Um, I'd like to see like main move, you know, our feature main game with d5, which is, this is try a lot. A lot of guys, you know, play this d5 instead of knight takes on g5. And well, again, a miniature, you know, this is what, what I meant. It's easy to get confused with black in here. And this was Jonathan uh, Hogson. He, uh, no, I'm sorry, Julian Hogson is, is the name. Uh, I'm almost sure, and and this is one of the again probably the strongest uh, player constantly playing this Trumpovsky with the H4 uh, line. So once again, if Black doesn't take immediately on G5, nine on D2 is the the way to continue with White. So uh, in this game, uh, his opponent was this guy Hebden, is, is his name, and again he took on G5, H takes G5. And uh, this have done try this e5, which is probably not a very good move. I mean, I think mm, theory recommends some bishop on f5. You know, why not playing with a light square bishop outside of the pawn chain? And just play normal chess, you know, e3, e6. Okay, you can play g4, for example, with, with what here, but uh, and after bishop on g6, queen takes g5 is still a threat. I don't know. I mean, you, in here you can actually play knight g on f3 to play normal chess. If you want to play more modern, you can play even like this. I don't know. It's kind of weird because you're defining the, the pawn chain. But I, I don't know. After c5, you can always play knight, knight and c3, and at least the pawns are, are solid. I don't know. I don't like this too much for white. I think that in this position, I will actually play knight g on f3, play more normal chess. And still, you know, the same concept of from the opening. Black does have the pair of bishops, but I have the H file open. But in the game, have them play um, e5. This is not very good because after d takes e5 and queen takes g5, well, knight g on f3 will develop the knight, protect the pawn, and kick away the, the queen. Uh, well, yes. <laughs> and so where was I? Um, queen on the 8, uh, this move. e4 came. E4 is, is a good move, you know, normally we see this game is more ready yeah, with E3, but why not E4? We have that square control and the game follows 9 on C6, E takes E5 and Queen takes E5 and Bishop on C4. So yeah, mm, Hogson is already yeah, looking with a good position because the thing is, not easy to know what to do with the Queen, right? Um, I mean, this guy had then ended up playing Queen on C5. But now queen on e2 is really strong because we're not only over protecting the, the e5 pawn and maybe looking at the e6 square. Well, we're also protecting this bishop, so I don't think queen c5 was such, such a good move. Now we're ready to play knight on b3 and kick the queen away. So, you know, bishop on e5, 
was a continuation and uh, yeah effectively you know knight b3 came queen on e7 i mean again i don't know i guess yeah it's true that e6 if we play queen on b6 there white is probably just going to play e6 maybe can we play long castles i mean it's, it's this looking really difficult for black but in, in the game queen on e7 long castles by white Bishop d7 came. I mean, this is logical. Black wants to at least be able to castle long, but it was already too late. e6 by, by Hogson is really, really, really strong move. Because, um, well, f takes e6 was Hebden's response. I, probably the right move. I mean, if you take with the bishop, knight bd4 is really strong. Um, after a bishop takes and queen takes, we're ready to play knight, uh, rook h2 e1 and... Yeah, winning the queen, and it's really hard to see what to do with black. The game was sort of similar, because after f takes on e6, I mean, rook takes d7 came, and yeah, I, again, this is the thing. So many tactics around black's king in a lot of these lines, so, well, maybe also with the h-file open, but in, in this case, not even that. So rook takes d7, I mean, king takes d7 was the answer. Okay, queen takes d7, bishop takes on e6, and queen on e7. We'll just rook on e1 with the idea of queen on d3. It looks decisive. Um, if you go away right now, well, I will even have bishop on c8 check just to take on b7. So let us say, I don't know, knight e7, we take it. Uh, and if rook b8, there is this check. And after, well, if queen d7, queen on a6, you know, with the idea of bishop on c6. This, this is going to be over. You all probably already have to give that queen takes b7. This is winning. But going back, uh, then therefore have them took it with the king, but it's still over. I mean, there are a lot of winning moves here for, for Hogson. He chose bishop on b5, which is, yeah, just destroying everything. And, okay, uh, king e8 is, is a bad move by Hebden, but it's really, it was really hard to offer any alternative. I mean, a6, I guess, is the, it was the most natural. We want to at least force this bishop to take right now, but the, he will, you know, just bishop takes on c6 check and, you know, like b takes c6. We have this check and rook d1 this is winning. And, well, even worse is to play king takes c6 because knight e5 check. Well, now you gotta go to b6 because any, you know, if you go to the d5, rook d1 is even going to be mate. And here we have queen on e5 check, which is, I mean, again, you play c5, boom. This is a typical thing, you know. You, you cannot even play queen takes c5 because we have knight d7 check followed by, you know, winning the queen. So you can see, you know, this is why. Uh, that, that rook takes on d7 on move 14. This this was lights out. So, well, in the game after bishop on b5, king e8, um, but knight e5 came again. This pins all over. And and a, a nice uh, detail for, for the you know, final sequence. Uh, have them play queen checks. f4. You know, this uh, <laughs> I really like this moves where you receive a check and you, you're giving up a pawn with check, but yeah, it's just attraction. You know, the queen, well, in, in fact, um, um, maybe queen f6 is a move here, I don't know, but after queen takes on a 4 check by Hebden, Hogson just playing king on me 1, and now, well, definitely black resigned. This is plus 4, um, according to the computer, but, you know, we have everything, taking on c6, taking on e6, threatening the rook, uh, black's king is still exploding, so, okay, I've shown a really optimistic, you know, um, point of view on on this uh, Trump Popsky with with h4 I'm, I'm i'm thinking this is clear i mean this is pretty optimistic but this is the idea since um i don't think it's important to memorize every you know really really particular lines in this uh, particular trump so it's good to to know everything that could come right for white um and just yeah have general ideas more than yeah um, knowing specific uh, lines by heart there aren't the, the, you know uh, that many specific specific lines uh, for you to learn so yeah it's, it's just concept and you should well if you like this and you you want to play it maybe you should try it in blitz out you know the, the, these lines even on the internet you try it try it for blitz because again a lot of tactics and then well if you like it you can take it more seriously and 
maybe why not start playing it even in long games so well thanks a lot for watching as usual i'll ask you to like comment share and subscribe and i will see you next time Thank you.